Arguably Jacksonville's most notable area, the St. John's Riverfront, is now the future home of yet another major event. Today, Mayor Curry announcing the Street League Skateboarding World Championship event will be held here this year. Thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. I'm Katie Jeffries. So Jacksonville is now not only a magnet for entertainment, but also sporting events. The Street League Skateboarding Championship making a comeback here in Duval after COVID cancels last year's tournament. So leaders are saying this is going to be a huge event for the city. On your side, Troy Kless joins us with more details. Yeah, thank you, Katie. So the grass that you've seen behind me, which has hosted events like the River Jam concert series in the past, again, going to be hosting one of the premier skateboarding events in just a couple of months. So again, that grass that you see behind me, that's going to be converted into a world class street skateboarding course again here along the St. John's River. So the announcement was made this morning with one of the professionals that will likely be competing in the event as well. So we spoke with uh, Airstream Ventures, which is one of the groups that made the announcement today. They say that they're going to estimate building a 6,000 temporary seated stadium here for spectators to enjoy the competition, but we're told that they are going to expect it to be a sellout and they might be able to expand that to 10,000. So think of the seats like you see for the Florida Georgia game that were built in the past. Similar thing will be applied here at Riverfront Plaza and due to the local and international attention on skateboarding as a whole, we spoke with Mayor Lenny Curry, who says it will be a estimates. It'll be a large crowd for this event. Much like other uh, uh, niche sports, sports, this is going to drive a group of fans that are passionate about this sport. Uh, look, when UFC came in Jacksonville, we saw uh, people came from all over. And I expect you're going to have an audience from all over the world. All right, stand by. Now the event will be held on November 13th and it's going to be a pretty quick turnaround. We're told to convert again this grass field into that stadium and skate park like we were just mentioning. And again, city leaders say that it'll be an economic boost for a weekend where those tourism dollars are needed in the city. We're going to break that down starting tonight on First Coast News at five reporting live at Riverfront Plaza. Troy Kless, First Coast News on your side.